Welcome to our lecture online. Since the Industrial Revolution started, the amount of concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has increased from 285 parts per million to 400 parts per million. It's actually a little bit over that right now. So what is the increase in the effectiveness of carbon dioxide in the ability to absorb energy, radiation from the surface of the Earth in the infrared band, especially between 16 and 14 micrometers? Well, here was the graph we saw in the previous video where we were discussing the absorption capability when the concentration was 285 five parts per million by the time the radiation reaches a height of one meter, and then again by the time the radiation reaches a height of two meters. Well, we can see that the side lobes, the P branch and the R branch, were at 38 and 46 percent maximum at the peaks by the time you reach one meter, and 62 and 71 percent by the time we have an elevation of two meters. But notice with the additional carbon dioxide, about a 40 percent increase, we now see that the P branch has an effectiveness of 44 percent at its peak and 53 percent for the R branch. And at 2 meters, the effectiveness went from 62 to 72 percent and 71 to 82 percent. Now, of course, that's only for the peak areas. The numbers are far lower to either side of those two side low peaks. But again, you can see that the additional carbon dioxide in the atmosphere does indeed have an appreciable effect in the amount of radiation absorbed by the time we reach a height of 1 meter and a height of 2 meters above the surface, especially for the peaks of the P and the R branch. Notice that 2 meters, it's already 100% absorbed at the central peak here that's caused by the quantum jump, the vibrational quantum jump from one vibrational mode to the next vibrational mode. And the side lobes here, the P and the, Q, the, P and the R branch, they are formed by the changes in the rotational quantum numbers. The P branch, it's a drop of 1, and the R branch, it's a rise of 1 in the quantum number of the rotational modes on top of the vibrational modes of the carbon dioxide molecule. So you can see that increased carbon dioxide concentrations did indeed increase the ability for the carbon dioxide molecules in the atmosphere to absorb energy very quickly as it leaves the surface of the Earth. And that's how it works.